Hey guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix dual boot option not showing in Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you are not seeing the option to choose between your operating system at startup, then don't worry. Here I'll show you two possible fixes that can surely help to fix dual boot option not showing in Windows. So let's get started. At first, let me show you what is the actual problem in my case. As you can see guys, this is a dual boot PC with Windows 11 and Windows 10. But here, Windows Boot Manager only shows Windows 11 during startup. And as you can see, there is no option to choose Windows 10 in the Windows Boot Manager. And from system configuration under boot tab, as you can see Windows 11 is only current and default OS. However, to fix the problem, open the command prompt as an administrator. Next, type the command bcd edit space forward slash set space start curly braces boot mgr close curly braces space display boot menu space yes and press enter this command configures the boot manager to display the boot menu after applying this command you should see the message the operation completed successfully after that exit from the command prompt now restart your computer you should now see the dual boot menu with options to boot into Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you are lucky then these simple steps should solve the issue of missing dual boot option in Windows 10 and Windows 11. If not solved like mine then go back to the desktop. Go to the file explorer. To identify the drive letters for your Windows installation which you want to add to the Windows Boot Manager. For example, here my Windows 11 is on drive C and Windows 10 is on drive D. Now again open the command prompt as an administrator. Next type the command bcd boot space your drive letter for your windows installation which you want to add to the windows boot manager. Here I want to add windows 10 so I will be type my drive letter d colon backward slash windows space for slash at last space for slash d and hit enter. This command copies the boot files from the windows installation on drive D and adds it to the boot configuration placing it last in the boot order. After applying this command you should see the message the operation completed successfully. After that exit from the command prompt. Ok now let me show you from the system configuration under boot tab. Alright as you can see my windows 10 is successfully added to the boot list. Now reboot once, after that you should see the dual boot menu with the option to boot into Windows 10. And hopefully this simple step should resolve the issue of the missing dual boot options in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Ok as you can see our Windows 10 is successfully added to the Windows boot manager. Ok now let's see our Windows 10 is working or not. Alright, as you can see our Windows 10 is successfully booted without any interruption and it's working properly. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. 
please like comment and share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day